Good morning. Welcome to celebration of the Mass, and today we are celebrating the uh, memorial feast of Saint Blaise. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for the celebration of this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the country of heart. Lord, have mercy. You forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications of your people make under the patronage of the martyrs and blaze, and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for the life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast for our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope, and hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Response to your psalm, the response is, go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to the all the world. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I'm with you always, unto the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. Their signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Life <clears throat> brings uh, both joys and struggles. Uh, how we deal with each speaks volumes about the reality and depth of our faith and who we are in Christ. 
who may suffer in the Lord's uh, discipline of us. And yet we know that he proves strength and hope, helping us to bring forth the peaceful fruit of righteousness. God is always with us. Uh, the biggest thing is, is to put our trust in God. Um, and sometimes it's difficult. Why? Um, first, perhaps, sometimes we may lack prayer. And prayer is this very important ingredient of our life. And I'm not speaking only about the, the legal prayer, like the, the rosary, the um, stations of a cross. That's a beautiful prayer, which we should and we have to uh, say. But also our standing before God and checking where we are at this very particular moment. It's not that God doesn't know what happens in our life, but prayer allows us to see through God's perspective where we are, how it's our heart, how is our faith, how is uh, our life in general. And from then, when we recognize what's good, what's beautiful, what's truthful in our life, and also what's difficult, what's challenging, and maybe even sinful, then we'll be able to work with God through His grace, through uh, the, Holy, the gift of the Holy Spirit to truly grow up in faith, hope, and love. So I invite you today to spend some time to uh, quiet down and see where you are at this very particular moment. Not going as much to the past, to the future, but at this very particular moment. And asking ourselves the question, what was good and beautiful? What I can thank God for? What are the blessings of today? Then, what was not the best? Where I missed the mark? Or, but I need more God's grace to be poured in my heart, to be healed, to be better, to be truly disciple of Christ. And that's a beautiful first step to trust more, to receive the gift of hope, and to truly be disciple of Christ who works through words and actions in love. Amen. Together, we lift our hearts in prayer to God, who bless us with abundance and who is present to us in all our needs. For all members of church, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide us in the ways of the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace in our world and in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. For all who struggle with addiction, may the Lord's kindness and compassion come upon them, let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the Lord sow seeds that bear much fruit in our lives of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, may they know the fullness of life with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. And we are praying for this sacrifice of mass for Clyde Floyd McMurdy. Murdy. Uh, we pray to the Lord. And let us present the prayers and petitions which we bring to this Mass in the silence of our hearts.
Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers and in your great mercy grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. By the midst of this water and wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vines and work of human hands, become for us our spiritual drink. Would humble spirit of contrary heart may be accepted by you, O Lord, for sacrifice and said this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash me from my iniquities and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and use may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you set as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bands of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop and all the clergy, religious and faithful everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most dear spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace nowadays, and by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Our spiritual communion prayer. Dear Jesus, in this moment of grace, I make a spiritual communion. I receive with all my mind and heart, body and soul, your real presence. I believe that you are always closer to me, that I am to myself yesterday, today, and forever. May your real presence enable me to be loved in action. Amen. <laughs>
Let us pray. Nourished by this redeeming gift, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. And since today is the Feast of St. Blaise, uh, traditionally we would have our throat blessed by the candles and a special prayer would be said individually. Uh, however, uh, we are in this time of uh, health crisis, uh, so the form is a little bit altered. And I will uh, say the prayer right now uh, over all who are here in church and also for those who are uh, with us spiritually uh, via live stream. And uh, what we can do, uh, I invite you right now to just place your hand on your throat and I will say the blessing. Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from all illnesses of the throat and all other illnesses in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for uh, being with us today, and uh, tomorrow Father Jack will be saying the Mass, uh, so be very nice. And this uh, weekend, um, I would like to um, invite you to participate uh, in our second collection, uh, which will be for the snow removal. Uh, we had a lot of snow, and uh, unfortunately, we will have to uh, have this collection made. Uh, I will send also an e a special email uh, communication today uh, to all the parishioners. And thank you, thank you for uh, all your support you can give uh, to our parish. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass ascended. Go in peace. Have a blessed day. Oh